chosen vessel. Why Paul? Part 3. Paul's letter to the Galatians addresses an issue that had been around since the record of what is commonly called the Jerusalem Council, as noted in Acts 15 and commented on by Paul in Galatians 2. But the question of why Paul goes back even further in the Acts record to the salvation and subsequent actions of Saul, who became the Apostle Paul, a topic both in Acts record and in Paul's commentary of same in the Galatian letter. Let's look at a several key points. We won't cover all of Paul's experience, except to say Jesus saved Saul by his grace, a pattern for future salvation of the Gentiles, and got his attention on the road to Damascus. He then sent him to see a man named Ananias in Damascus. Ananias had been similarly contacted by the risen Lord and told that Saul was a chosen vessel unto me, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings, and the children of Israel, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Acts 9 verse 15 Our verses yesterday describe a synopsis of Saul turned Paul's journey after his salvation and calling to be apostle to the Gentiles. Acts 9 when it stated that afterwards, Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. Galatians 1 verse 16 to 17 Following this, the next thing we see, Acts 10, is that Peter, and the rest of the twelve, were to learn of something new coming their way as Peter had an encounter with the Lord and, per his instruction, with a Gentile named Cornelius. And after Peter returned from his encounter with Cornelius, the event came to cause issues. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him. Acts 11 verses 1 to 2. Continuing in the Acts record, Acts 11, suddenly it appeared that Gentiles were somehow believing in Christ in large numbers. This came to the attention of the Jerusalem church, the twelve plus James, likely, and they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came, and had seen the grace of God, was glad, and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus, for to seek Saul and when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass, that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Acts 11 verses 22 to 26 So, Saul now Paul had assumed the role to which the risen and glorified Lord Jesus Christ had commissioned him, and there was an incredible growth in response to that ministry. And then it happened, and certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Acts 15 verse 1 This preaching by these certain men brings us to the resulting Jerusalem council and later a similar instance which resulted in Paul's Galatian epistle. And the student of the word will again ask why? Why were these Jewish believers from Judea preaching Mosaic law to Gentiles? We'll continue to answer these questions and why, Paul, in our next session.